Well, Bruce, as you join us, um, we know that New South Wales is gripped by its biggest COVID challenge yet, but we're here to talk about the Inter-Dominion. And while some people might say there's bigger issues on the table, for your club and for Harness Racing New South Wales, we need to talk about the Inter-Dominion because it was already postponed from last year and there's a lot of people in the industry want to know how we're looking for this year, Bruce. Yeah, Adam, well, as, as you say, it's hard to believe uh, here we are. Well, probably, I suppose, more like 18 months since we made the decision uh, to postpone. And, and unfortunately, uh, we, don't, we don't seem to be any better off than we were back back at that time. Uh, we have now accepted that uh, this isn't something that's going to go away quickly. And um, and both the club and Harness Racing New South Wales have committed to, to run the series this year. Uh, providing the New South Wales Health Orders permit us to do so. So as long as the government doesn't change the rules and, and prevent us from racing, uh, we will conduct the Inter-Dominion. Well, that's an outstanding commitment, and I think the industry will be excited to hear that and needed to hear it. I realise that there are a lot more layers than just saying you're committed to holding it, and we'll go into those layers soon. But it is scheduled to begin at Clubman Angle on the 27th of November, and then moved to Bathurst on Wednesday, the 1st of December, then on to Newcastle for the round of heats on Sunday, December 5, before returning to your club, Club Menangle, for the finals on the 11th of December there at Club Menangle. Um, so in committing to hold it, um, you obviously realise that there's going to be a lot of toing and froing with participants, isn't there, Bruce? Um, and realistically... I guess you're urging everyone to nominate, but you understand you'll have to work with them in the bill. De definitely, Adam. So, I mean, as you said, that is exactly what we're, we're asking is for people to nominate. Uh, they've got through to the 27th of uh, September to do that. So there is still some time to go. But once we know the people and the locations of people that are nominated, we can then start to more consider what may need to be done to enable that to occur. So we, we do ask people to nominate. We do ask people to talk to us. We, we're getting a lot of inquiries already. David Wanson's fielding um, a lot of inquiries from, from New Zealand, from uh, Tasmania, from other, other states, um, uh, asking questions about how things might look. Um, and once once we're having those conversations, at least we can tell people what we know. And, and we know it's it's very quickly changing and, and um, we're expecting uh, quite possibly significant changes again in New South Wales here as early as today. So we'll have to keep reacting to those changes. But if people do nominate and they're talking to us, uh, we can do our best then to try and uh, to help them to be able to be part of the series. Without continuing on a negative theme, um, you're you're obviously bracing yourselves for little or no crowds. Yeah, that that's something. Unfortunately, particularly from the club's point of view, the reason we wanted to be part of the Inter Dominion rotation was we saw it as a great way to try and achieve one of our strategic objectives, which is to to grow the harness racing audience for us as a club, and uh, we have some great non-harness racing activities where we bring people along to the races to do that. But the Inter-Dominion we saw as a great chance to, for people to come along who, who aren't necessarily harness racing enthusiasts, but to see the best of our racing. Now, that was one of the reasons why we postponed last year was because we wanted to do that. Now, unfortunately, as I said earlier, we accept that this this isn't going away quickly. So unfortunately, whilst our, we, we hoped that by postponing, we'd be able to have a fantastic Inter-Dominion with the crowds uh, both both harness racing enthusiasts and, and local people who just wanted to see something different in our area that would be there. Unfortunately, as you, as you say, Adam, it, it, there's a very good chance at, at at best we're going to have a reduced crowd, and and that's that is what we're allowing for now. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what that looks like. Uh, we've been planning for it could be uh, something like a one to two square metre ratio. It's probably about the best we could hope for in terms of our allowance. Um, one to four is, is is another ratio we've dealt with in terms of one patron every four square metres, and, and they'll have massive di sort of a, a impact on our capacities. Uh, but I take that over no crowd, and obviously that's what we're dealing with right now. Uh, hopefully in the, the next 15 weeks, which is what we have until, until the, the first round of heats, uh, we will see some improvements that at least enables to have some sort of crowd there. 
Um, so this is a commitment to keep the brand alive and get the Inner Dominion brand back out there. There's, there's, it's got to be said. There's, there's a little bit of selflessness about this, just to keep the brand going. Oh, oh certainly. I mean, the, the, the financial commitment to the Inter Dominion is enormous. It, it, it obviously is from a prize money point of view, but, but um, certainly from a marketing point of view. And we've revised that marketing strategy. I, I don't know how many times in the last sort of four to six months um, as we've sort of hoped things would improve. And and I have to say, a couple of months back, it was looking really promising. Uh, we now have to face the fact that um, it was very much a, a tactic to, to target, as I said, as the, as the marketing people call it, the occasional audience. And uh, that, was a, that was a big part of our marketing approach was to try and encourage those people to come. We now really need to turn it around and, and focus on our on our harness racing enthusiasts to try and make sure that they can be there. So, yeah, we accept we're going to suffer some financial pain, from some further financial pain than probably we, we expected to as being part of the series. But it is it, to keep the tradition, to keep the brand alive, it, it is so important. And that, that's why we got involved in, in the first place. So we, we certainly want to make every effort to, to, to do that. Yeah, certainly commend you for that. So this structure that you've got in place, and and it is it is an important structure to get you know, regionally and include places like Bathurst, which is a growing home of harness racing in in New South Wales and and Newcastle and the Hunter region as well. Um, that's a commitment you've made, but it is one that you may have to review. We know that transporting people and horses around the state is a no-go at the moment uh, to, in, in a big way and could still be a problem going ahead. So what's the solution if you can't run it as planned? Yeah, and obviously we've had those discussions, Adam, so that's – that's and, and you're quite right. It, it, under the current uh, conditions and, and – uh, New South Wales is going back to a regionalised racing model uh, from next from next Wednesday onwards at, um, until further notice. So under under those guidelines, it wouldn't be able to happen um, as as we've set it down. Now, if if that's what we're forced to do, if the if the health orders and the restrictions force us to do that, then we will. That's exactly what we will do. We'll we'll change, make the changes necessary. And um, if it has to be run entirely at um, at Clubman Angle at our track, uh, that's that's what we will do. We obviously have some fantastic facilities there in terms of the retention barn facilities and also the permanent training stables there that Harness Racing New South Wales runs, um, which would certainly assist us if that if that came into play. Uh, so they're the sorts of discussions we've had at this stage if if that's forced upon us. Yeah, you do have the ability to make your own hub, don't you, at Manangle? That, that's exactly right. I mean, this this was something that was talked about going all the way back to um, EI, the, the equine influenza, when that struck, and was that at that time we didn't really have the ability to do something like that to race within a within a, a sort of one area. And when the permanent stabling complex was built, that was certainly something that was discussed, and EI was was the issue referred to at the time. But this type of situation, which, as we say, this is more of a people issue than it is a, a horse issue, but it does give us the ability to stable a significant number of horses within within our immediate sort of area. And at the moment in New South Wales, and it's different in different states, of course, but it's our local government areas or council areas that are dictating where people can and can't go. So that, that ability to be, able, to be able to race from within our own local area is, is a very important one. So what's the last message out to all of the trainers, the drivers, the owners that uh, that might be wondering about the Inner Dominion at the moment? You, you're committed to running it. Only a, basically a public health order will stop you doing so. Uh, nominate your horses and stay in close contact with you guys. That's exactly right, Adam. Yeah, as I said earlier, once people have nominated, we at least know that they're they're considering it, and and we understand people's circumstances are going to change, which may make that not possible. There's there's no there's no charge to nominate. Um, there's no penalty for for withdrawing. Um, so through until the twenty seventh of September, you've got to to put that nomination in. Once, once we know you're there, um, we can look at the different circumstances, how many people are coming from different states and how many people are coming from New Zealand and, and see what we can do to, to make this the best series we can. It's, it's obviously not what, what any of us want, uh, but you look at what's just happened with the Olympics in terms of 
um, and, and certainly I had my grave doubts about whether that could happen. And uh, it, it, I know it's been an incredible logistical exercise and, and no doubt not what Japan wanted in terms of conducting an Olympics, but it, it gave us a couple of weeks of um, of, of something to, to see. And, um, and, I, and I think they did an incredible job in the circumstances. So uh, let's get the best out of a bad situation. Yeah, I think that's a lovely way to finish up. You're right. Uh, everyone had their doubts about the uh, the Olympics, whether it should even go ahead. Um, you know, I myself felt yeah. there was no build up to it and everything, but it turned out to be one of the most, the greatest and most memorable games of all time. So let's hope we can have a similar situation with the end of Dominion. Uh, Bruce, we're going to stay in contact with you as we get closer to it. A reminder again, those nominations close September 27th. Get your nominations in if you want to be part of the end of Dominion. You've got a pacer or a trotter to be part of it. Uh, appreciate your time today, Bruce, and we'll stay in touch. No problems. Thanks, Adam.